A recent study shows Americans don't know how to manage their money. According to the Federal Reserve Board, 63% can't pay, pass a basic financial literacy quiz. Brene Cooper talked with a couple high school teachers working to send their seniors into the world well-versed in finances. Legacy High School math teacher Steve Schultz says the reason so many adults know so little about their wallets is because they were never taught money management. Together with social studies teacher Matt Thornton, they switched up the everyday economics class. We made a lot of mistakes growing up and I wish I had this knowledge. If I could restart my life at 18, I would have made a little bit different choices. Two thirds of the year, they follow the standards for econ and the remaining third, the teachers fill in with personal finance lessons. And what we found is that looking at the math behind these concepts is what really brings it home because dollars matter. And for these kids, when they see it's a difference of $100,000 or $50,000, that makes an impact a lot more than me saying this is really important. Listen up. They discuss loans like student loans and mortgages. Schultz advises his students about to head to college not to maximize their loans. Instead, he tells them to enjoy living poor while in school and save up for later on when it really matters. I've been stressed out about it since freshman year, um, going to school and having enough money to pay for everything and just being like prepared. Brendel says she wasn't totally clueless going into the class, but doing hands-on work and filling out the future paperwork makes all the difference. We also did a project where we had to map out a month of our life in the future, and that project was very fun, and it helps me like open my eyes and see everything I needed to see. Another big topic in the economics class is credit cards. Schultz says if the kid is responsible enough, it's a good idea to open a credit card account at 16 to begin establishing your credit score. I think it's beneficial for every student just to know personal finance and how to manage your money and how to spend it properly so you can retire at a decent age. Doan plans to go to college next year and one day become a financial advisor himself. Renee Cooper, KX News. And another big goal of the class is to clear up any fears kids might have about taking out credit cards or loans and to show them that they can work in your favor if managed correctly. Schultz and Thornton agree that by 18, they want their students to be able to hit the ground running. Looks like they got a good start. Still to come.